Hello students, very lovely good morning to you all. I hope that all of you are in good spirits and keeping yourself safe and calm along with your family. Let's start with the first chapter of mathematics, chapter 1, Knowing Our Numbers. In this chapter, we will learn to do the reading of large numbers up to 9 digits. We will be doing the reading and writing numbers in the Indian and International Number System and many more things. Today, in our first session, let's know about number system. To make the reading of large number easier, there are two systems of numeration, Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration. In both these systems, the digits of a number are separated into groups called periods. We use comma to separate the periods. Let's start with the Indian system of numeration. In the Indian system, we read the numbers from right to left. While reading a nine digit number, the first three digits from the left of a number form the ones period and the next two digits forms the thousand periods and the next two digit forms the lakhs period and the next two digit forms the crore periods. We use commas to separate the periods which help us to recognize the number name easily. The numbers can be written like that. As you can see it here, we put the commas from last three digits and then two and then two. It will be read it as nine crores, two lakhs, 47,165. Now come to the next number. It will be read as 72 crores, 88 lakhs, 65,014. Now moving further, we will discuss the international system of numeration. In the international system, the first three digits from the right forms the ones period and the next three digits forms the thousand period and the next three digits forms the millions period. Now come to the same digits like that as we have earlier discussed in the Indian, Indian system of numeration. We will be writing it as 90 millions 247,165. Now come to the next digit. 7,000, next number, 7, 728,865,014. In the international system of numbers, we separate the periods using the commas by placing it after every three digits, as you can see it here and here also. I think you all have understood this Indian system of numeration as well as the international system of numeration very well and you will practice taking some other examples in the loose sheets and we will discuss more about this chapter in the next session. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. All the best.